Aniel Pontoya making his way down the Puerto Rican patch. Pantoja. Pantoja. <laughs> he's fighting soon, the UFC fighter. Really? Yeah, he's going to go against, he's going against, uh, man, I don't even know who it is, but they're fighting soon at the end of the year. So there you go. I think UFC 297 or 296 at the end of the year. Oh, right on. And their opponent from H-Town, Houston, Texas, representing active BJJ, please welcome Brady Jones! I love Pantoja just staring down the entrance way. <laughs> it's like a tiger pacing in a cage, looking, looking out at the people, just staring his man down. It's got to be a mental game, no doubt about that. <laughs> Folks, this will be, in case you didn't hear, the 155-pound division, obviously in the gi. You know, eye contact, believe it or not, plays a huge role in uh, mixed martial arts. Yeah, absolutely. You know? The infamous Mirko Krokop, Vanderlei Silva stare down, one of the mm -hmm. great moments in MMA history. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, I used to train uh, one of my MMA fighters, and you know, he would always, one of his things was is to get the other guy to break eye contact first. Yeah. And if they did, it was like almost guaranteed that they just weren't going to be as about it as he was. <laughs> and uh, most of the time, he was right. Because I can say he, that I know Pantoja is competing against Brady Girard. We didn't catch him on the intro. We were running our mouths about something else. Pantoja <laughs> <laughs> right on top right now. Yeah. Fishing for the arm bar, got there early. He's so trying to use all muscle to separate these arms, man. He should use his legs, though. They get that other leg over. Yeah, yeah. It's even harder to really separate the arm and the gi because they can grab their own material. There we go. Now he's incorporating his legs, looking for the arm bar. He almost yeah. got the separation there. Belly down, smart move. Ooh. Transition to the triangle. Beautiful transition right there. His opponent forced the belly down, and that's usually, you know, a, a smart way to escape the arm bar, but that transition to that triangle is smart. Now he uses it to get on top. Hey, this is a lot of pressure on that neck. So he needs the angle now. There's a little bit of space in there. He's going to have to cut that angle. Ooh, gets the arm straight and might be able to attack it here. Really, Pantoja just needs to stay patient because he's got his man in trouble. The clock is ticking away. He's four and a half minutes left. Stay patient and just wait for the submission to come. Brady Girard needs to get out of here. Because all this time he's losing is time in the judge's eyes. Yeah, Pantoja needs to look for that angle. The angle will make this a whole lot tighter and a lot easier. Mount's a good option to fix that, though. That yeah, the weight, pressure. yeah. <laughs> So if he can underhook a leg, underhook a, if he underhooks a leg, he'll be able to cut that angle and really Absolutely. Ooh, looks to transition to the arm bar here. Yeah, this is a risky position if they get reset because who knows, you know, what little grips we're not seeing and what little angles we're not seeing. They could mm -hmm. buy someone some time. Hey, it's again really going back right? to the arm bar. Great job on Gerard. Just hanging in there. He's able to escape. He's going to be on bottom now, but at least he's not finished. Absolutely. Just to survive, you know. That's a big part of getting your blue belt is just learning how to survive. So that's why you see a lot of that, just guys hanging off for dear life. <laughs> yeah, one thing I'll say about the gi is that <clears throat> the, the the athletes who train in the gi, man, they're hard to finish, dude. You know, in no gi, you can kind of get used to everything being a little slippery, um, a lack of handles. But when someone has can grab your gi and, and you have all that friction, you really learn to be, like, scrappy and, and be able to fight out of a lot of different submissions. Says hey. <laughs> trying to hop right around, there. but he put his ankles in harm's way there. Yeah, and in on a triangle. He's got some beautiful setups. Absolutely. It's just remaining calm and flowing. By the way, he's constantly pulling down the back of the head, too. Not right. letting Gerard posture up. Not letting him get any breathing room. Even if the choke isn't there, it's the psychological effect of just not being able to pick your head up and get that space. Yeah, he no. gave up that triangle. I don't know if that was smart. I, Might I have worn his legs out. It's possible. Yeah, 100%. His legs are probably smart. <laughs> <laughs> he has been fighting for you know a good four minutes trying to get the triangles and arm bars and everything else. 
Yep. And, that, and ladies and gentlemen, that's such a big, you know, key detail there of like, just because you have the, the, the lock doesn't mean you're going to be able to get the finish. You know, the more you squeeze and the more you pull, you can honestly just burn yourself out and they can, they can survive. But if you just would have simply like underhooked the leg and just like cut the angle a little harder, yeah. it would have made everything way easier. Absolutely. Two minutes, two minutes to go. I think it was, oh, good sweep there. Get yeah, to mount job. for Pantoja. I want to see that, uh, what was that you joke you were talking about? Uh, Peruvian bathtub or something? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh the uh, Turkish steam bath. This yeah, one yeah. Turkish <laughs> yeah, shout out to Frankie Bay <laughs> out in Dothan, Alabama. <laughs> I'm gonna give you old Turkish steam bath. They <laughs> just <laughs> smother me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I do. Uh, I do the mother's milk choke, that smother choke, which yeah. is in nogi. You know, that's how. And you're a rash guard can get caught up in their face. It's just way worse with it. Yeah, yeah. Way worse. You can go around the back of the head and everything. It just. Look at this. Go maybe Goga Plata. Big fan of this. Now look at that. Ooh, Ooh, fingers in the yeah, eyes. Gotta watch out with those fingers. Overall, man, dude, Pantoja's just rack, racking up the score here. Yeah, no the doubt. Submissions. The judges' eyes. There's no actual score, but the, yeah. the judges are paying attention to who's who's attacking the most. So Gerard and just put himself in a rough situation by going flat on the feet. He completely killed his own base there. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt you. <laughs> no, you're good. You're good. Again, I want to see Pantoja cut an angle here. He needs to be careful with the leg around his foot. That triangle. Yep, yeah. That's his risky. Yep. Ooh, attempting oh, the straight. Oh, I wouldn't have given up that head, though. Hey, there you go. The, Gets it back. That's where the pressure was coming from. Now, Gerard needs to get up. Only 30 seconds. Really? He needs to fight for his life, too, if he wants to win this thing. He's just, you got to believe he's just kind of mentally defeated at this time. He's been, you know, Six minutes underneath, just about. Six minutes inside of a triangle. Yeah, for real. That's demoralizing. It is. But you see how Pantoja is just pulling on that neck? Yeah, if I'm his coach, we're drilling triangles. <laughs> <laughs> angles, angles, angles. He's got an underhook here. Yeah, he needs an underhook and, and cut, the, cut the angle. Strangles need angles. This fight folks. will go the distance. Oh, Great fight there, both Great. men. Great technique. Great technique. Ready Gerard, able to survive. And El Pantoja, though, just much too much, I got to believe. Yeah, He's trying to put his hand up. Your winner, <laughs> out of the blue corner, again! Yeah! Pantoja seems upset he didn't get the sub. Yeah, I mean, that's the warrior mentality. We saw him start to finish. He was staring down the entrance way. There's no doubt he was much happier with the finish. Oh, look at this. Look at that Puerto Rican flag inside the gi. Carrying his country on his back.